good kitten internet, and yes, I totally was intentionally delaying for that video so I can trigger this. Players of Shining Force 2, assuming that they've actually read up on anything online or anything like that, knows know exactly what this is. Welcome to the real final battle of the game. There is an optional hidden battle if you wait five minutes. I think it's five minutes. I can. I, I actually just stopped and started recording the video because I want to finish this. Um, it's an optional battle if you wait five minutes at the game over screen. You encounter an optional battle. Remember this area, like the area that we were going through in order to go back and forth between Grand's Island and Parmesia? Well, we have enemies here. And specifically, remember when I had asked what this area looks like? Well, now we can see it's Sonic. Welcome to the hidden optional final battle. Um, if I egress from here, the game ends, for reference. I think it just goes to the title screen. So we're going to see a lot of bosses. Pretty much anything that was a significant enemy slash boss in the game we're going to have in here. Unfortunately, that means that almost everything's going to be a pushover other than the actual bosses at the end. Um, so we have Prism Flowers instead of Xeon Guards. We have Willard sitting here. We have Dark Smoke, which was a boss at some point. We have the Chess King. Camellia, Zalbard, Odd Eye, Geshup, another Prism Flower. I think the Prism Flowers are the only normal enemy in here. Yeah, there's not even a flying enemy. Red Baron, complete with the Dark Sword, Xeon, Crazed King Gallum, and that's it. This is our battle. This is our final battle. Might as well start with spreading the word, except in this case, I can't hit most of the party because of where we start at. Yeah, I think no matter what I do, I'm going to be missing a huge chunk of the party. Okay, which one of the loop like portraits is road? Okay, it's the right side. So I'm going to boost the left side with Jaha. Jaha leveled up again. Oh, he didn't get bolt four right at the end. That's sad. Ninja. I wasn't joking about the whole, I don't know what I'm going to be running next, though. Um, mm, let's see. So, um, I'll hopefully remember to put a link in the description for this. Uh, I have my backlog re available. Um, I should, and that has a listing of all the games that I own. I haven't updated it with my more recent Steam purchases slash, um, Humble Bundle purchases, though. But, uh, basically anything in there is fair game. Uh, generally, I do don't like, um, oh, I should actually start uploading the previous video. Derp. Hold on a moment. Let me pause the recording so I can upload the pre start the upload. There we go. Um, just typed in all the tag information and so on. Uh, apologize in advance for the people who are wondering why the video was late yesterday. Uh, it's because I actually slept in. Uh, my cats actually let me slip, sleep in this morning. It was nice. Anyway, uh, who do I have to deal with first? Um, Prism Flowers are going to be annoying. Not really that big of a deal because they're only hitting this line right here. Uh, I don't even think it's worth going after that Prism Flower on the left. The one on the right might actually be worth going after just because this line is a little... Or, yeah, it's not even that important. But we've got a bunch of bosses to deal with. And some of these bosses have some really powerful attacks that I'm a little concerned about. 
Zalbard is actually the one I'm thinking of because bolt. Although that's only bolt two. Doesn't Zalbard only have bolt two and not bolt three? Remember, they're bosses. They go multiple times in a row. All of them. Oh no, not Willard. It's critical hit for one damage. Yep. Multiple times in a row. Every one of these enemies other than the... Yep. So this is the regular Gallum appearance. Got Blaze 2 I'm fine with that. Uh, Dark Smoke. No, nope, actually that one does go twice in a row. But only has 18 hit points. This is going to hit for one. Yeah. Counterattack? No, second attack. Oh no, I got hit for one again. Willard, go away. <laughs> One-shotting bosses. And pretty much nothing is going to give me one, one XP here. Other than bosses. Nope. I killed you with a vicar. I say that. My last time that I played through the game, um, Freya, who is my vicar, basically equivalent of Rode, in this game. Um, Freya was in the 70s or 80s on level, I think. Because Freya had heal. Uh, yeah, Freya's spell set by default, I think, was heal aura. Um, heal aura, detox, and attack. Which is nuts. Can go away. Oh yeah, I wanted to see what happens when we egress. I'm pretty sure we just go to the title screen. Yep, game resets. That's why I save stated. Aura one Bowie. There we go. I mean, it would be really nice if I can pull off getting, um, all right, which is the line that I have to worry about? It's this line. Or no, sorry, it's this line. <coughs> yeah, it would be really nice if I can pull off getting Aura 4 right at the end. That would be hilarious, but I'm not too concerned. Camila is going to be the next one that will activate along with uh, Zalbard. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was going to check. Zalbard is Bolt 2 and not Bolt 3, right? Yeah, it's Bolt 2. I don't really care that much about Bolt 2, to be honest. Wolfie can't quite reach, as usual. So, how bad is it going to be if I'm standing here? I'd be in range of Odd Eye, and Zalbard, and Camilla. Oh, good. They haven't woken up. Weird. Okay. Stop our attack. One. Oh, no. Ten. And I'm even boosted. Ah. <sighs> kind of impressive, actually. Yeah, they're just pacing around. Geshep might have woken up. Camilla still hasn't. Kind of impressive. Just... Oh, did I? Oh, Bowie was standing on it. Dang it. I didn't notice. Oh, well, not a big deal. So yeah, if you were wondering why I was still saving up some um, items and so on, this battle is the reason why. I know Chester hasn't been boosted and he's the only one. Forget it. Really? Uh, 
I thought I was going to be able to move forward one more. Oh well. Ninja. Hi, Camilla. Eat a bolt four, please. I'm still getting XP from Camilla. That's impressive. Am I getting XP from Zalbart? Counterattack for two. No, okay. But I am getting XP from Camilla. That's interesting. I wonder what level Camilla actually is. Yeah, Zalbard will be dead. Yeah, Zalbard's dead now. Ooh, I actually did get a small amount of XP from that. So Zalbard must be like level 25. Which, that's interesting. That's so early. That's the danger line. Might as well. Oh, I just realized Camilla's able to attack there. Well, not anymore. Camilla, neat boom. Bonk. Camilla's probably not going to get to go at this rate. Yep, odd eye. Odd-Eye Beam! Odd-Eye Beam does more damage than I remember, but whatever. Not Aura. I guess I'm just gonna boost. Do you gain an Aura 4 yet? No. I'm gonna have to look up. I'm maybe at the end of this battle because this video is not gonna take the full hour. If you can't tell, um, goodbye, Camilla. Camilla did not drop your iron ball. Shame. Yeah, this is kind of what I was afraid of. I don't know if I can get Bowie out of there in time. I'm gonna have to focus over on Geshup. If I had Aura 4, this would work great. And Tyrin's dead, isn't he? Oh no. I guess Tyrin finally has decent defense. What is Tyrin's defense according to this? I'm going to just reload from save state. Yeah, no. Um, Tyrin's defense is 69. That's not that high. That's one of the lowest in the party. Huh. Nope. Gonna rain on ya. Bonk. Critical hit! 30 damage. Punk. Yep, that's more like what I was expecting to happen. I mean, yeah, Slade dying is going to be annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Also, I think I can actually make this work. Forty-three. Slade just took fifty-eight. Ugh, I'm gonna need two people to heal, and I don't think I'm gonna get that chance. Can try it. Yeah, you're gonna go after Tyrin. Tyrin's alive. Gash up. Oh, attacking Randolph. Okay, we're fine. Counterattack. Yeah, this battle is not easy at the end, just because there's so many of those. I put Rick in the wrong spot. 
really think those should have been Xeon guards, even though the Prism Flowers are more iconic. Welp. I guess I'm hitting Odd Eye with Freeze. <laughs> I cast a spell and I still have over 100 MP left. A high level spell, not just like boost. Well, I could do that. It would heal both of them a little bit. I was right in doing that, okay. As long as I don't get a crit or a double attack, I'm fine. Yep. All right, I only have to deal with everybody at the moment. Cool. Crit. Odd Eye gets a counterattack though, because I think Odd Eye's using a counter sword, isn't he? Geshep hasn't been hit yet. Oh, yeah, he has. Okay. Would heal Randolph. Crit for 55. Ooh, double attack, too. Yes, this was probably a good idea. Tyrin. after Geshep. If I can take out Geshep before he gets another turn, I'm gonna be in better shape. Nope. Seven on Randolph, that's fine. Road, you are going to heal everybody. Man, I wish I had some healing reins. Kind of shocked I didn't get any. After Odd Eye, hope for the best. Fortunately, Chester is the lowest level of my force right now. Um, once more, go after Odd Eye, hope for the best. Bonk. Down to 22 hit points. Pretty much anything can kill Odd Eye at this point. That includes a flying Bowie. How appropriate. Womp. Bowie leveled up. HP 1, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1. <coughs> May. We're going to have you start sniping. Because you are a snip, and you go snip, snip, snip. Oh, gash up. Luckily, they're still pacing up there, otherwise I would have a problem right now. Okay, Randolph needs to stay there, because otherwise gash up can get at my squishies. damage. Geshep needs is going to be going twice now. No crit? Oh, crit. Pretty sure Randolph's gone. Yeah, your agility is starting to reach the 100 plus range. Uh, heal four. Heal three. Rick has an injury... And not much else. Can't reach anybody else, unfortunately. Rick can, though. Nice. Can I actually kill Geshep with Rick right now? 
Guess ship's down to 75. No. Okay. Luke. It's time for some stabbings. Crit? Just a crit. Okay, that's still fine. I could have actually killed Geshep, but... Uh, yeah, Janet can't kill Geshep right now. Rude can, though. Rude, kill Geshep. Do you still get XP from Geshep? Given that you're level 37. Yes. Holy crap, that's a high level for Geshep. Okay, we are down to three. None of them have healing. In fact, nobody on this battle has healing. I am glad they never did a healer boss, because that would suck. Um, Red Baron can use Dark Sword, which does nothing right now. Gallum theoretically could use Demon Rod, but hasn't. I think Demon Rod is you steal MP when you attack. So I'm not too concerned about that one. I'm more concerned about Gallum biffing the pure living snot out of me. 126. 115. 158. Okay, well. Xeon, at least, I just need to stand back. That's not that big of a deal. That'll maximize the number of people who can attack. You need to hang back a little bit so you can heal. All right, I've woken them up. Yep. Blaze three? Oh, Demon Breath, that's right. It's the weaker Demon Breath. Or the smaller area, I should say. I can't reach. Dang it. Well, good old Randolph. You can be our tank today. Yep, and you're going to attempt to use your sword. What the? Whoa, that's a weird effect. Neat. And you're gonna biff Randolph in the face. Oh, no. stupid crit. Prism Flower, Prism Flower, that one's going to go off and hit May. Yeah, I realized it after I parked May. Luckily, it's only 12 damage. It's not that bad. Randolph some. For your posterior. Stupid Red Baron. Your helmet's dumb. Right there. That looks good. Uh, four. Three. Anybody need healing that I can reach? Janet can use a little bit. May can use a little bit. I'll just heal one May. Hm, leveled up? Nope. Nothing good. Uh, upload's nearly finished. I have bandwidth. Uh, not a huge amount, but I have a decent amount. Yeah, unfortunately, can't use either of those. Jan is not going to be useful at the moment. Yeah, not going to be useful. But I am going to equip Ground Axe. So I can move slightly further.
Slade, you're gonna move off to the side and boom, boom, gallum. Boom, boom, gallum. Tyrin, you're in danger range on getting hit, but I think this will be okay. Chester, you're not in danger range, and I'm going to keep that middle spot empty because otherwise this is going to hurt way too much. Nice. That's more like what I want to see. I don't even care that you get multiple attacks now. Yep, and you're going to go after... Yeah. Let's see how this one's going to glitch. We got damage by nine. Double Luke. Double Janet. And does no damage anyway, so I don't care. Gallum. Yep, that's fine. Why is that doing more damage now? I wonder if boost slowly expires rather than immediate expiration. Okay, Bowie can, I think Bowie can survive a hit. <sighs> a hit, like one. <sighs> yep, that one's going to definitely hit things. I know I said I was going to keep this closed, but I can also kill King Gallum. Yeah, and I definitely got XP for that, because of course I did. Alright, we've got Red Baron and Xeon left. Um, how are we doing on heals? Tyrin and Randolph can both use a decent amount of healing. That's still a safe spot. Get Red Baron some. Nope. It is actually a better plan to finish off Red Baron. By the way, Red Baron, how much XP do you... Uh, what level do you give XP up to? At least level 37, or 57 is what that would be. Do you have Aura 4 yet? Yes! Right at the end! I have 29 MP left, I don't care. Or 31 now. That means I can do full heals on the entire party. He's the real reason why I wanted to make sure I had, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the MP restoration. Uh, Fairy Tears. So Kiwi's got one. Kiwi has the only one I have? I thought I was supposed to have more than one. Kiwi's got the only one. Cool. I mean, admittedly, I could just fast forward and just sit around doing nothing to let everybody regenerate. Just heal Bowie, please. I'm going to heal everybody up. I'm still in range. Maybe I'll just have Jaha go take care of that. I uh, can't reach, and that puts me in range, so I'm going to go here instead. I'll have Luke, Luke take care of this. Alright, you want to see what Aura 4 looks like? 
It's time to see what Aura 4 looks like. It's my favorite spell in Shining Force 2. Full hit point restore for the entire party for the exact same MP cost as full hit point restore for somebody standing next to you. I do not understand why heal 4 costs 20. It shouldn't. If a character has both heal 4 and aura 4, there's no reason to ever cast heal 4. However, in theory, aura is a more powerful spell, so you would expect characters to get aura 4 before heal 4. Freya doesn't. Freya actually gets Aura 4 before Heal 4. Uh, I think Karna also gets Aura 4 before Heal 4, although Karna gets at a much later level. And no matter what, I only get 25 XP. Anyway. Stand back for a bit. Yeah, none of my characters can actually take the two hits from Xeon. Even if it's just Demon Breath. Sad that Jaha never ended up getting Bolt 4. I don't know what level that's at, though. Fairy Tear on Rude, just so I don't wait around forever. I would put it on Luke so I can get another Bolt 4 off, but eh. Oh, well, I guess I didn't need the help out there. Cool. Alright. Still too much damage. I mean, Road could just Aura 4 again and fully heal Janet. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have somebody die this battle, though. Janet can survive that, can she? Nope, Janet survived. Okay. Although, you know, the moment Xeon gets a second turn, I'm screwed. Yeah, I only have a healing drop. Healing drop. Really wish I would have ended up with Bolt 4. This would make this so much more fun. Alright, I just need Freya to be able to go before Xeon does. That's it. Although I will do this. So at least I should survive one attack from Xeon, I think. Maybe? I might lose all of my archers from one attack now that I think about it. He hit 31. Because, you know, she really needed more stats. Randolph might be dead, though. Yep. Oh well. I'm not going to be too concerned. Might as well break the goddess staff, right?
But the goddess staff became mangled. Wait, that's not actually broken, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. Cotton Zeon down well below half at this point. Almost a third. Now it's a third. Below a third, I mean. Yeah, here's the problem. If I attack with Bowie, I am absolutely going to get curb stomped. But, since this particular map has slightly more space, I'm going to go above and start using my Dark Sword. The reason being that Xeon's going to target with a breath attack below rather than above, because Xeon would only hit Bowie then, and that's not going to be worth it. Everyone! This time, yes, I'm fast forwarding. Huh. Yep, you're attacking Janet. Fine. Janet might actually take another hit. Nice. Move out a little bit. We're in red zone now. That's a good sign. Sian's nearly dead. We've only lost one character. That's not too bad for the for this battle. That's ridiculously good. Jaha. Yeah, I think it's appropriate to have Jaha finish off Zeon. You know what? Bolt 3, because I don't have Bolt 4. And it still looks cool. And that's it. That's game. Level 37, do I finally get Bolt 4 after defeating Xeon? Yep. And that's how we're going to end this. Hope you've enjoyed this hit. Tur? Yeah, I actually have to kill them all? I didn't think I did. Okay, well. I guess we're going to be doing this for a little bit longer. Okay. It's fine with me. Yeah, White Ring is uh, Aura 2. I did not actually expect to be continuing this. I thought Xeon was the boss of that. Apparently not. We have one prism flower left. That's it. There's nobody else around. Pretty sure Luke's going to make it first. Yep, Road now has another Aura 2 on tap. So yeah, basically the way you power level a Vicar that has Aura 4 is just by existing. It's practically... Once you have a character hit Aura 4, which to be fair is usually because you've leveled up a little too far or maybe at the absolute end of the game. Um, it's trivial to power level some... I, you don't even power level, just existing makes it trivial. Every 10 turns, cast Aura 4 and heal the entire party. Healers rock, and Aura 4 is one of the best healing spells in the game. Oh, um, speaking of other games that I could play. So um, I don't want to do this next, but my next strategy RPG I want to do is Vandal Hearts. Um, I love the game. It's not necessarily the best game in the world. It has a plot, unlike Training Force 2. It it legitimately has an interesting plot. It gets a little muddied, and I genuinely wonder if that's one of those situations of um, bad translation. But I find it to be an interesting game, at least. And I want to see if I can get a randomizer created for it. 
because that would make the game really interesting. So it's a very, it's inspired by Shining Force. So you have a lot of the same styles of, you've got a 12 character party, it's a strategy RPG. Um, certain characters will have healing abilities. You can promote into two different classes, those types of things. All of that's basically the same. The main difference is um, there's only 12 characters. So you will be using all of your characters the entire game. Um, also, there are certain... There are hidden battles in the game. The game's much more linear than Shining Force 2 even, but there are hidden battles in the game. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, and in those hidden battles, the enemies are rubber banded to your main character's level, which makes things really interesting because if you decide to just leave your main character at a low level, things become trivial for those battles. On the other hand, if you let the your main character max out on level, which is level 40, everything becomes an utter nightmare to fight. Uh, so there's a, it's not a cheat, it's more of an exploit that you can do that allows a um, character to power, and any of your healers can power level themselves up to maximum level, as long as you're willing to spend the time on it, um, because they'll have effectively unlimited MP. And unlimited time to do it. Yeah, don't care. It's just a person life, sir. All right. Um, so yeah, that's not going to be next game. That'll be after Wild Arms 2. I know that strategy RPGs aren't the most fun thing to watch. But I believe now we are at the end of the game. The true end of the game. Game over! Hooray! I hope you've enjoyed this, Internet. And... I'll see you around. Unfortunately, the kitties didn't come by. I left they were in the background and I didn't notice. Uh, I don't actually... And um, Isun's probably sleeping upstairs right now. It's sleepy. It's kitty nap time. Anyway, um, so yes, please... Help me figure out what games to play next. Uh, because I don't know what I want to play. Ooh, I need to actually change that video I just uploaded. Because YouTube is taking its sweet time in actually... We're going to bump that by an hour. In its sweet time in actually um, processing anything at the moment. So it's even though the video finished uploading 20-ish minutes ago, um, it's still processing SD, never mind HD. And I like having my videos done processing before I post them. Anyway, um, so yeah, I will have link in the description on this video as well as the previous video for my backloggery in case if there's something that looks interesting. Uh, to be honest, if it sounds interesting and... Um, Whatchamacallit, if it sounds interesting and I don't own it, I'm probably willing to buy it. It's just, well, don't necessarily, I have so many games, I don't necessarily need to buy another. Uh, yeah. Once more, I'll see you next time, Internet. Bye.